so it's the next day now. Um, I have my computer, the system mostly reinstalled. You can see all my apps are here already. Yeah, you missed out a lot, but don't worry about that. It's boring, so don't want to see. You don't want to see that. But what I want to show here, because there are some people that say that the Windows Live installers won't install in Windows 10. So, yeah. Well, we're going to see here. So, right. WL setup all. This is an offline installer that Microsoft put out. It's no longer available online, but at least not for Microsoft. But if you know where to look, you can get it. Anyways, right. So I'm going to start this. And questions if you want to do it, I say yes. So here comes the Windows Live installer. No, I want to choose programs that are installed. I don't want Messenger. I don't want Mail. I don't want Write. I want Writer. One drive is really installed, so I only need photo gallery and movie maker and writer so install basically this is the two things you need so because everything else is unnecessary so right so yeah it's installing you can see here oh yeah this is windows 10 and i can prove it right click me i can prove it look i opened uh, my computer and See, Windows 10. Right, this is the name of the computer Euclid. Uh, X Network, yeah, Trade Ripper 1960. 4 gigs of RAM, for, okay, so, but yeah. And it's done. Alright, so. Alright, so if I click Start, to look under, it should be under M. So, see, Movie Maker. So, if I try to start it, yeah, look, it does start. So this one, I'm, I'm going to decline for now because I don't want to install this. I don't want to run this on this on this account. But yeah, so it can be done. So right, just a bit more to go, and my computer will be done. Right. So now two days have passed. All right, I finished installing everything. So it's about time to start ghosting the machine. Oh yeah, you can see from here. You're still booting into a local administrator account. But Windows is activated. Everything seems to be fine now. So yeah, account. So you're currently booted into an administrative account. Root, local administrator. Everything seems to be okay. okay. Booting. Alright, device manager. And see from here. Four Radeon 570s. All four of them recognize. Sound. We have the Alcatraz Airwave. And this is a Bluetooth headset because I don't, I don't, can't get speakers working on this. I don't have audio working on this. So Alcatraz Airwave, MD High Definition. This is the video card, the Sound Blaster, Real Tech, the webcam audio input. Yeah, this is the, this is a MIDI. This is the onboard. This is a MIDI keyboard. I'm not sure why it's displaying as unknown as not working pro correctly. I'm going to report this to Microsoft for that. So yeah, so storage controller, you can see that it detects the RAID device and the RAID controller for drives. That This drive, there's a RAID array and there's two RAID arrays. C drive, D drive, display adapters for K I to show that firmware, HID. We have, uh, check this out. We have touch. So right. Touch is working. Alright, so it's time to make a back of this machine. I already installed Mac Cream Reflex on this, so right. All I have to do now is pop the hard drive in and get it to boot. Alright, so yeah. USB hard drive. I'm using a USB 3 C gate. Probably not the best drive in the market, but yeah, it works. So alright. This is my image backup drive, you can see. So Win image backup. New I have Clementine Sun and Toot. Catalog is being made. Uh, Alright. Okay, so I did use something else before, which DX. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Clementine. SP Media Catch backup. Alright. 
Okay, uh, I thought I did use something else, but alright. This will be the first one I'll be using Macrim Reflect with. I'm slowly migrating to Macrim Reflect because it's already it really said that my Windows will no longer that they will no longer support you know they're not planning to support Windows imaging backups anymore and it will eventually be removed so right let me just select GPT this one primary this data print this image all right so great available backup to more image like this on your computer image everything battery win image no I do not want to image win image win image is a USB hard drive okay onto a folder win image uh, create a new folder oh okay uh, win image create a new folder so macrium and then oops uh, in macrium I make a new image and I need the computer it. And now I just make today's date two zero one eight zero five zero eight dash zero one dot zero one. So I know that this is the first try of two th of the day. So this is the first try of the day. And I select this. So Macrium folder all right backup name image ID option compression intelligent take the copy reduces medium high compression level because it, why not this is a supercomputer file size automatic password no password auto verify image nah mm, and power saving no command no Question high intention check the copy okay so I'll be copying data and recovery okay so data and uh, system disk okay so right next backup plan nothing no backup plan no schedule retention rules nope uh, nope all right next uh auto verify no high automatic 193 all right operation one two three four okay finish run this backup now save this backup no run backup now all right so here we go it's starting and this would probably take several hours, so right. Yeah, we we'll just let it run. Setting this right speed now. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I just came back from my bathroom and imaging has available have apparently start. Finally. So right, it's imaging the system now. Yeah. Six hours, no doubt you'll get less, but right because it's a huge file. Also, high compression level. Strange though, I thought with this high speed of a computer, I thought with a high speed CPU like this, it should it should work faster. Guess not. Either not, or it's not optimized for high speed. Yeah, four hours, five hours. Screen is flickery. <sighs> Monitor is 60 hertz. Right. This is why living in Malaysia is a bit of a pain. Your monitor work, works at 60 hertz. Your light, your camera is 50 hertz, and you get flickering because Sony sold you a 50 hertz PAL camera, but your monitor works in NTSC. Oh yeah. Probably should be able to change this, but uh, I'll look into it later. Should be able to change this, can't think of it. Yeah, time remaining 5 hours. Well, take all the time it wants, I guess. 
we're doing 170 meg 70 to 80 megabits per second, so it's quite reasonable, I guess. Depends on the file size. So yeah. Okay, another update. So I finally created my profile, and yeah, Windows imported my profile from the cloud. So yeah, it's the same picture now. Everything is from the cloud. Although my wallpaper is a mess, but get this. I successfully create, made, moved my data drive to the D drive. The answer was trivial after I learned about MK Link. So basically, what's in the drive here now is just a symbolic link, like Linux. A sim link. It shows like a shortcut, but it's actually a sim link. It goes into the same fold, it goes into D drive. So, yeah, you can actually do this in Windows. Pretty neat, but yeah, very sadly, Windows doesn't support this by default, and you need to have a, a super brain to be, you need to be, you need to do a lot of digging to figure this out. So, anyway, yeah. Um, Alright, so that's another thing I'm not happy about this. Cloud search on. Uh, save search off. Language. Language United States. This turn on Cortana. Because, you know, I need Cortana. So, anyway, yeah. Hmm. I don't like how the screen is flickering though. Hold on. Uh, click start. Uh, display settings. Maybe we can set it from here. 10, 9, 9, 10, 98. Light off. Advanced graphic settings. Dell's at 60 hertz. Display settings. Uh, properties. Okay. Uh, I don't think I force it to 50 hertz. Well, no, there's nothing here force to 50 hertz. So, All right, monitor. Oh wait, here we go. 60 hertz, 59 hertz. Right. Oh, if I say 50 hertz, can this monitor support 50 hertz? Yeah, this monitor supports 50 hertz, and the screen is not flickering anymore. So, all right, for it to hide mode, this monitor cannot display. This is ridiculous. Monitor supports 50 hertz, so. Why is it not set to 50 hertz in default? Oh, this one is no. This one is is running 50 hertz default. Hmm. That's very strange. I wonder if there's a way to set this in a, in, in the Radeon drivers. But yeah. So right, display. Really preserve this ideal custom resolution. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Display back. I do not want to create custom resolution. Yeah, but yeah. I did. So. <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah. Yay me. C drive, it, the C drive is now empty. The C drive is now empty. And all. The C drive is now practically empty, and all the data is actually stored in the D drive. So yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing. I like to show Windows Movie Maker working, don't I? Uh, hold on, uh, the Movie Maker. All right, let it start up, and yes, I accept. And wham! Movie Maker. Pretty cool, huh? So, yeah, Movie Maker works. If I select webcam video, I Logitech HD, yes, and um, the webcam coming on? Yes, webcam is coming on. Webcam is to my right. Well, to my left, actually, because when I'm doing my playing my streaming, the webcam is feeding video to the Macintosh instead of to the desk instead of to my gaming rig, and the Macintosh actually does the mixing. So the webcam is actually hooked up to this switch down here. So yeah, ah, very nice. It's working nice. So video is 50 hertz. Yeah, I don't know how to force it to 50 hertz from this, but it works. So yeah, kudos. Of course, as you probably figured out, this machine is not going to be running. This machine does not run, you know, Movie Maker much because we'll be running something else. Um, Sarah Designer, Sarah Designer, Movie Maker, Mix. Yeah, my desktop needs to be cleaned up now. So, right, uh, Photo Maker, and uh, Vegas Pro. So, yeah, this works. Gladly. Shit, okay. Alright. And we you're watching me rearrange my desktop. 
uh, Macrum Reflect, I'm not sure where to put this. You don't really need this here, but yeah, Unity. Um, iTunes is up here. Replay is here. VLC is up here. Okay, um, web browsers, QuickTime is down here. OBS Studio is around here. Um, Audacity is here. Um, okay, I think everything else belongs to this site. Asus RGB. Webcam. Laser jet. Office Jet. Office Jet Garbage. Sea um, Monkey. Chrome. Sea Monkey Edge. I don't know why they put an edge on my desktop. Yeah. Uh, Chrome down here. Win SCP down here. And uh, Inkscape down here. Acrobat down here. Wings 3D down here. Vest up. Wings 3D here. Spybot here. Uh, not bad around here. Macrium here. Right, I think this does it. Hmm, okay. Right. No, I think I'll just move this here. Move this here. Move this up. Move. Yeah. <laughs> And lastly, personalize and uh, wallpaper. I just leave it. Colors, local the team. Uh, colors, anything else? Background, mouse cursor, black. That's the icons. Yeah, this is it. And all these, boom. Yeah, the, the desktop icons are here now. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's it. System's ready. Systems ready for use. Yeah, looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's stuff missing, but not by much. Yeah, looks pretty good. I'm proud of this. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of what I've achieved. I managed to move my profile directory to the D drive completely. Stupid Microsoft to not let you do this, though. Not let you do this off the bat though. This is the job of a super hack, of a super user, not for normal users. But yeah, Microsoft should let people do this from the get go. I mean, the technology is already right there in Windows. Why is it, why aren't they capitalizing on this? It's ridiculous. So yeah, now I need to just key my keys into all these and get it working. And yeah, for those who want to see this, yeah. Four-way baby, four ways.